back to my channel. It is time to officially say goodbye to my 20s. At the time of filming this video, I do still have a few days left, but my 30th birthday is on May 26th. So for this final episode, yes, the final episode of my Turning 30 series, I thought that I would do a little bit of a, a recap, I guess you could call it, of my 20s. The highlights and some of the things that I would probably rather forget. But at the end of the day, I do not regret a single thing and I am so grateful for what these special years have taught me. All right, y'all, so let's start with 22. <laughs> I remember that age so clearly because I finally got to sing that um, Taylor Swift song that was like, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> I can remember that so clearly playing that over and over again. I'm like, yes, I'm 22, I'm 22. So I graduated from Hampton University with my bachelor's degree just a couple weeks before I turned 22. I remember feeling so, so excited about finally going out into the real world, you know? But after completing a summer internship, which I began directly after graduation, I had a lot of trouble finding a job in my field. And I had a really, really hard time with it. And in hindsight, I realized that I was definitely dealing with some postgraduate blues or postgraduate depression. I felt like I had done everything that I was supposed to do and things were just not happening for me as I expected them to. But I kept on pushing and I finally landed my first career job at the end of that same year. And I was so excited, but nervous. Very, very nervous at the same time. And at the beginning, I did deal with a bit of imposter syndrome. I just knew that every time my supervisors went into a room alone together and shut the door, that they were going to have a discussion about firing me. <laughs> I had really convinced myself that. Fortunately, as time went on, I began to feel a lot more settled. I spent the next couple of years gaining a lot more confidence in my role. I even got to the point where I felt comfortable and secure. During this time, I also started to become a lot more consistent with my blogging, and I even traveled a bit as well. 24, I began my weight loss journey. I lost over 40 pounds, and I was so proud of myself and the most confident I had ever felt. It was the first time that I was able to prove that I could do really hard things if I put my mind to it. 25, I fell in love. And though I was super grateful, as the years went on, I had begun to feel more and more unfulfilled at my job. It even got to the point where I was crying in the office bathroom almost every single day. However, the idea of change had always been something that was so scary to me and I just had no clue what to do or how to get out of it. 26, I experienced my biggest heartbreak. It was also the year that I quit my job and moved abroad to London to pursue my master's degree. It was the first time that I had taken a real leap and a chance on myself and it just felt so liberating. However, after the initial honeymoon phase ended, your girl crashed pretty bad. And it was during that time that I realized I was brought here to do some much needed self work. I took a whole year off from dating and began focusing on how to love myself more. I visited 15 countries in one year. I completely fell in love with my solitude and I continued to push my way out of my comfort zone. Over the next couple of years, I feel like I soared. I earned my master's degree. My YouTube channel continued to grow. I started receiving a lot of recognition and accolades. I got selected for YouTube Black and ended up on a billboard here in London. I was featured in the September issue of British Vogue. I have my own episode on a Netflix reality dating show. I continue to travel the world. The pandemic hit and instead of packing all my stuff up and heading home, I decided to stay here and stick it out. And as challenging as all of the uncertainty was, not knowing when I was gonna see my family, I made it through. 29, it was the first time that I really acknowledged that my weight loss journey did have some effects on my mental health and I started taking the steps to work through that. I began to feel a bit of the pressure of not having it all figured out as I was getting closer and closer to 30. I felt slighted. 
that it felt like the pandemic stole the last couple of years of my 20s. I went to counseling. I started craving more stability. I made it a priority to only surround myself with people who brought me joy and good energy. And I fell in love again. Yeah, y'all, I mean, one thing that I have learned over this last decade is that life has many, many highs and lows, you know? Sometimes you're up here, you're on the mountaintop, you're winning, you know? Sometimes, you know, life can be pretty neutral. You just, you're just kind of coasting. <laughs> And sometimes you hit rock bottom. My 20s may have had many highs and lows, but they were filled with so many lessons and just so much growth. I completely stepped out of my comfort zone. I took more risks. I managed to visit 30 countries before turning 30. And on the day of this upload, I am currently visiting my 31st. The idea of turning 30 just used to be so scary to me, but I am currently more optimistic than ever. All of the experiences of the last decade have helped me to become the woman who I am today. <laughs> and I love her a lot. <laughs> from the people in my life who have come and gone, to the ones who stayed, from internships to jobs to entrepreneurship, the good decisions and the not so good decisions. <laughs> it was all necessary. It was all a part of the journey. And I'm really, really looking forward to my 30s because I know that I am just getting started, y'all. I've seen a lot of reposts recently of this one image on Instagram and it's showing all of these celebrities who really started to hit notable success in their 30s. Like Ava DuVernay um, didn't pick up her first camera until she was 32. And I love seeing that stuff. I look forward to continue growing both personally and professionally. I would love to become a wife and a mother in this next decade, Lord willing. <laughs> I still have so much more time to have things more figured out, to accomplish, to learn, and I can't wait. Here's to 30. <laughs> As always, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.